In the United States, it is important to be aware of the laws regarding pet ownership. Surprisingly, owning certain animals as pets is illegal in some states. In this video, we will uncover the top 10 illegal pets in the United States, based on the laws in various states. But, before we begin, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. So, without further ado, let's jump into our list of the top 10 illegal pets to own in the United States. Number 10. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs may look like the perfect pocket pet, but it is illegal to own them in many states, including California, Hawaii, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Some cities, like Washington DC and New York City, also have laws against owning them. Hedgehogs are nocturnal. So you are giving up sleeping at night when you own one because their noise will keep you awake. When they become anxious, they curl up in a tight ball. It is easy to cause injury if you try to uncurl them. Additionally, they often carry foot and mouth disease. Number 9. Ferrets. Ferrets are illegal to own in California, Hawaii, and many individual cities, including Washington DC and New York City. The most common reason for banning them in those states is the changes they could cause harm to the ecosystem if they are set loose or lost in the wild. Ferrets are escape artists so that may not be an unreasonable fear. When ferrets feel threatened, they often bite. They also bite to get a person's attention. They also do not do well when changes occur, and they will often bite those around them during that time. These bites can spread germs and rabies. They also need to be taken care of regularly, or they have a strong musky smell that many find offensive. Number 8. Monkeys. It is illegal to own a monkey in 19 states, including in California, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Utah, Vermont, and Wyoming. Other states have a partial ban on owning a monkey as a pet, while others, like Florida, require you to volunteer with monkeys before purchasing one and pass a written exam. Monkeys kept in captivity tend to bond with the person they perceive as in charge while viewing everyone else as an enemy. Monkeys are messy, and they will often throw their feces everywhere. Wearing a diaper is not a good answer because it can stop muscle development or weaken developed muscles. Additionally, monkeys carry many diseases that can be transmitted to humans when they decide to bite or scratch you. Before you consider getting one in areas where they are legal, consider that some monkeys live to be 40 years old. Number 7. Sugar Gliders. Sugar gliders are a fad pet that many choose to own, but owning one is illegal in many states, including Alaska, California, Hawaii, and Pennsylvania. They are also illegal in some cities like St. Paul, Minnesota, and New York City. Even if owning a sugar glider is legal in your area, you may want to think twice before getting one as a pet. They are nocturnal and want a dark environment during the day. Their food, consisting of specialized water and nectar drinks, can be challenging to find. Like domesticated animals, sugar gliders need regular vet care, but most veterinarians will not take care of them. Number 6. Bengals. While it is obvious why big cats, like lions and tigers, are banned as pets, but it is also illegal to own a Bengal in at least 19 states. Others have strict laws saying that you must prove that the animal is at least four generations removed from its wild ancestors. Capturing Bengal tigers and breeding them with a domesticated cat cuts down on this animal's gene population in the wild, further lessening its chance for survival as a species. Though wild Bengal populations have somewhat increased in recent years, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, still considers them endangered. Bengals typically live about 15 years in the wild, compared to 20 to 25 years in captivity. However, most domesticated Bengals are bred in kitty factories, where they get minimal to no care. Many have health and behavior issues that make it hard to control them. Number 5. Chazis. In at least 19 states, it is also illegal to own a Chazis. These hybrid cats were created by breeding jungle cats and domestic cats. They are about twice as big as the typical house cat and are very active. It takes time to walk your cat regularly and give them other forms of exercise, or they can become destructive. Many develop gluten allergies, so their food can be costly. It is impossible to breed domestic qualities into an animal that has been wild for thousands of years. Many owners find that these cats are very aggressive. Additionally, many say that their cats refuse to use the litter box. Since wild cats are solitary by nature, many Chazis are very antisocial. Number 4. Turtles. 
You cannot own a pet turtle in North Dakota or North Carolina, and many other states have bans on selling them if their shell measures less than 6 inches. Still, other states ban the sale or trade of turtles unless certified as free of salmonella. They carry the salmonella germs on their outer shells. When someone touches the turtle, they can get germs and get very sick or die. The germs can also be in their cages or aquariums, so cleaning those can be hazardous to your health. Additionally, other animals, like geckos and bearded lizards, can also be carriers. Number 3. Skunks. If you have thought that a pet skunk would make an ideal pet, do not be quick to buy one, especially if you live in 17 U.S. states, including Alabama, Florida, Indiana, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Michigan, where pet skunks are banned. The bans include animals that have been domesticated by having their scent glands removed. Even domesticated skunks often have trouble getting along with other animals that they usually hunt in the wild, like rodents and birds. Skunks need a calm environment, so having them with children around is often problematic because they startle easily. Skunk food can be hard and expensive to find. Additionally, skunks need regular medical care, including deworming regularly. Since there is no rabies vaccine for skunks, they can pass the disease on to other animals and humans if they get bitten. Number 2. Lemurs. If you think it would be fun to own a lemur, be careful where you choose to live as they are illegal pets in Ohio, Nevada, Florida, and North Carolina. Additionally, the sale or transfer of lemurs is highly regulated in many other states. Since lemurs are social animals, it is cruel to own just one lemur. Females have scent glands on many parts of their bodies, which they use in the wild to attract males. They will mark your home with this scent everywhere, and it is a highly offensive odor. Lemurs love to make noise, so expect them to be continually singing, often at the top of their lungs. Lemurs are usually quite aggressive, especially as they enter sexual maturity. This animal carries many diseases that can be transmitted to humans, and we have many that can be transferred to lemurs. Number 1. Zebras. A zebra is an illegal pet in Nevada and many other states. It is impossible to domesticate a zebra. Their kick can hurt or kill a human, and they use it often. It can be hard to earn the trust of a zebra, even one that was born in a domesticated environment and had the best care possible. Most owners report that they spent many months sitting with a bucket of grain in front of them before they could even pet their animal. Many are very hard to keep in fenced areas, as they are always looking for a way to escape. When they do, they will often run themselves to death before letting a human coax them back to where they belong. And there you have it, it's as crucial to research and understand the laws regarding pet ownership in your state before considering an exotic pet. The regulations aim to protect both the welfare of the animals and the safety of the public. Violating these laws can result in fines, pet seizure, or even euthanization. By respecting these regulations, we can ensure the conservation of wildlife and the responsible ownership of pets. Thanks for watching the video to the end, and be sure to check out other videos on the channel that you might like, so until next time.